Hey, what's going on, traders? Two for two today. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. Always appreciate the support. Questions, comments, leave those down below. Discord, Twitter links are down in the description below as well. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification as well so you'll know every time I upload one of these videos. Jumping right into it, TLS was our first trade. Um, pretty decent move here on TLS. It wasn't anything great, I would say. I mean, it was decent, but um, the volume wasn't that great. Um, but the move itself was... It was, like I said, it was decent. You can see as we zoom in here, um, when you're zoomed out, it looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty straight up. Um, but when you zoom in, you start to see the real story. And as you can see, the candles weren't that great. However, when we finally went through 450, uh, we got a nice little push. And uh, that's where we ended up starting it, um, right at 450. And we got the nice push up through 450. So we got the ad, was looking for five um, to get another ad. I actually thought about um, adding another 100 shares like up in here to kind of make it a one, two, because it did feel pretty toppy like when you were watching it. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't, um, would have made it for a much nicer trade, but we did try to scale out of this as well. Um, got a nice little dip, um, kept pretty much uh, like I had said yesterday in my video, my leftovers are 25% on my original position. It's just kind of a number that I'm comfortable with. And uh, so we were down to 25 shares and was really looking for this to fade off at least to this 390 area, but um, couldn't quite get it. So it decided to go back up and it uh, looks like it went actually up through high of day, got to that five area and kind of just came sideways back down to that same area. So pretty decent trade there on TLS. Our other trade was on COMP and um, I really wasn't in love with this trade either. Um, when it made this move down here, it just a little, looks grindy, uh, a little bit of a pullback back up through decent move here wasn't anything i really liked but i mean as you can see the candles really weren't that much bigger but kind of sitting around not doing much and um i was really hoping for 420 uh to get this thing started it went right up to four started to reject so we, we just threw 100 shares at it looking for um just a quick little pullback and it was ssr so we had to put those out and uh, we actually hit this on the way up. Uh, so we got filled and then it went up and tried four. I was looking for an ad up at 420, but never got there. I uh, got the pullback, took 75% off. Again, looking for the bigger pullback down to like 320, which was that previous resistance um, with you know the 25% uh, position and couldn't get it. Uh, decided to come back up. Pretty clear spot to me um, that it looked like if it curled and got back above it, that we were going to head back to the highs, which also happened to be my average. So pretty clear as a uh, day cut there. Um, at our average, as you can see, it did end up going high of day, came back down and kind of went sideways. So a uh, decent day, consistent day, um, average day, I would say for where we've been lately, that 40 to like $60, um, just getting a couple of trades, uh, give me two or three of those A plus trades. And, uh, we're seeing those hundred dollar days and, um, I, I did scale up and I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at now. I don't want to push it too much because I want to see, uh, what happens when we finally do maybe get a day where we have like three or four like good trades, uh, not like yesterday where we had like six very mediocre trades. Um, so I want to see um, where we are right now um, till the end of the year, at least. Uh, but at the beginning of the year, um, if we're still in the same kind of market, uh, the odds are I'm going to start pushing a little bit more. Um, because I'm not counting on the market to just pick up um, like I was hoping uh, at the beginning of this year. So obviously we had little sparks here and there, but nothing, uh, too crazy as far as like considering something, uh, an actual hot market. So maybe with the spy going up, we're, we're getting pretty close to uh 400 here again, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty nice to see the market just doing what it wants to do. Uh, every time you think you got some kind of a grasp on it, it decides to just wow you and do something completely out of the ordinary. And I will say, looking at the daily on this thing, um, it does look like we're starting to base a little bit. So we scroll out just a little bit real quick. I know this isn't what you guys sign up for, but on that downswing, um, pretty clear level here that it got under, pretty much got bought right back up, tried to come back down to it, couldn't get there. And now we're making a move higher. And sure, CPI numbers, you know, all that other stuff uh, has a lot to do with this. But um, if you're looking at it from a pure technical standpoint, uh, this very much looks like a W. So we'll see how it pans out, obviously, moving forward. That's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. Again, questions, comments down below. Twitter, Discord links down below uh, in the description if you want to come join those. And uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys Monday morning. Peace.